Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says five to the X plus two equals 71 plus five to the X plus five squared. And I want us to know what is five to the power of X. This is day six of our algebraic February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebraic problems. Looks like there's a lot of fun ones here. And if you guys wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, I'm noticing in the exponent, we have two terms being added. That reminds me of these notes right here. Anytime you have two terms being added in an exponent, you can split it up like this. So a to the b plus c can be rewritten as a to the b times a to the c. Or in this case, five to the x plus two can be rewritten as five to the x times five to the two. So let's change that up here. And then we can copy down everything else. Next, this five squared is equal to 25. And this five squared is also equal to 25. And then let's copy down everything else. On the left-hand side, this five to the power of x times 25 can be thought of as 25 five to the power of x's. And then on the right-hand side, the 71 plus 25 can combine to give us 96. And this five to the power of x can be thought of as one five to the power of x. Next, let's subtract this one five to the power of x from both sides of the equation. 25 five to the power of x minus one five to the power of x is 24 five to the power of x and that'll be equal to 96. Now to get this five to the power of x all by itself, we can divide both sides by 24. On the left-hand side, these cancel each other out, so we're left with five to the power of x. And on the right-hand side, 96 divided by 24 is four. And this is the answer to our question, five to the power of x is equal to four. Let's put a box around it. And if you're curious about x, the exact value of x is log base five of four. And that's approximately equal to 0 0.86135. How exciting. And here's the problem for tomorrow. The cube root of the quantity 7x is equal to the square root of x. And it wants us to solve for x, and x does not equal 0. This looks like it'll be a fun one. How exciting.